Well, the big difference really when it comes to heavy wet snow and light fluffy snow has to deal with the amount of moisture inside that uh, ratio there for us here. So if we take a look at our graphic that we have, there's a 15 to 1 ratio when it's light and fluffy and normal ratio, the, you know, the typical 10 to 1. And when it's the heavy wet snow, like what we'll be seeing, it's 5 inches of rain for every 1 inch of snow. So it's damp, it's heavy. Let's talk about what kind of uh, weight that has to it. So for fluffy snow, it's 4.1 pounds per square foot. For the heavy wet snow, we jump up to 12 and a half pounds per square foot. Let's, uh, let's equivalent this a little bit more here with uh, 12 inches of snow. So a foot of snow is about 1,500 square feet where that gets spread. So you can see on, on a roof, that's equivalent for fluffy snow of 6,240 pounds. It's like a small pickup truck there. For normal snow ratio, it jumps up a little bit more. You add another car on there. And for the heavy wet snow, that's three pickup trucks right there. So up to 18,720 pounds for the record. Most roofs, though, can withstand 20 pounds per square foot, so we are okay in that part. But when we are expecting double digits and some spots getting up to two feet of snow, let's take a look at what that equivalates to. And you can see that jumps up a lot heavier, and you get to the wet snow equivalenting up to 25 pounds per square foot, where most roofs can withstand 20 pounds per square foot. So that means that some folks, especially in the higher elevations, where we're talking about snowfall totals getting up to two feet, might actually have to break out the roof rake and clear off the roof a little bit some point during this event to make sure that they don't have any issues later on down the road.